Hi everyone! Welcome to BellVG Magento Tutorials. My name is Daniel and in this video I will show you a few simple things you can do to speed up your Magento 2 website without any custom development or technical knowledge. First of all, let's take a look at some of the reasons for low Magento speed. Number 1. Slow hardware. The most obvious reason is a simple failure to meet Magento technical requirements, so make sure you've got everything all right on your side. You can find a link to Magento 2 technical requirements in the video description. Number 2. Third-party extensions. One poorly written extension can significantly slow down overall Magento performance. Make a list of all the installed extensions, turn them off one by one and see if it affects the loading speed in any way. Or try to install a default Magento 2 and see if it runs any faster than the customized version. Number 3. Disabled full page cache. Basically, caching means pre-storing copies of your web pages so that users can view them instead of going through the process of creating the pages all over again. If you use the right caching tools and implement them correctly, you will see a significant rise in web page loading speed. Now let's take a look at a few things you can make in Magento 2 admin page to improve your web store performance. Minifying and merging JavaScript and CSS files. Let me show you how it's done on the admin panel. Open Magento admin page and navigate to Stores, Configuration, Advanced, Developer. Expand the following tabs. Template settings, JavaScript settings and CSS settings. Select Yes for merging and minifying JavaScript and CSS files. Don't forget to click on Save Config when you are done. Enabling Flat Catalog Using Flat Catalog instead of managing catalog data in many tables by the EAV will help you speed up your product collection. In order to enable Flat Catalog, navigate to Stores – Configuration. Then select Catalog on the left panel under Catalog tab. Expand the Store front section and scroll down to Use Flat Catalog category and Use Flat Catalog product. Select Yes in both fields. As always, remember to refresh the cache once you are done. Using Varnish Cache. Varnish is an open source web application accelerator which stores files or fragments of files in memory. This allows reducing the response time and network bandwidth consumption on equivalent requests in future. Magento 2 is fully compatible with Varnish. Moreover, Magento strongly recommends using Varnish in Magento DevDocs, since it's much faster than the built-in full-page caching. To enable Varnish Cache, navigate to Stores, Configuration, Advanced, System. Expand the Full Page Cache section and in Catalog Application drop-down menu select Varnish Cache. Disabling Unused Stores and Store Views It also makes sense to check the list of your stores and store views and disable all the unused ones. Go to Stores, Settings, All Stores. Click on the name of the store view. At the top right corner you will find Delete Store View button. Click on it and remove the unnecessary store view. Checking error logs. It's a good practice to check your error logs once in a while and debug all the existing errors. To do that, go to Stores, Configuration, Advanced, Developer, Debug and enable the Log to File section. Combining these small steps together, you can significantly improve your Magento 2 overall performance. Thanks for watching, I really hope this was helpful. Feel free to visit our blog where we publish loads of Magento tutorials. All the links are in the video description below. More Magento tutorials are coming up, so stay tuned and see you next time.